All right, let's see if this works out any better. Leviano wants to play a game. Leviano. All right, one second. I'm opening up my um, Twitch stream manager. I was doing it from the Streamlabs thing and trying to have the Streamlabs all working, um, but that's all new to me, so. I'm just moving over to the Twitch stream manager, which I'm more familiar with using this stream manager while um, while it's going. So I'm just opening that up because I closed that tab to try to see if I could save my internet. Now uh, we've got the stream manager back up and then uh, Can you see me now? Or, or can you... Can you see the game and audio better for sticking around the stream with us. It's uh, the end of the hour in two minutes. Two minutes. So we can do a bit of a pack. So right now I'm just going to the leaderboard. Checking obsessive. We got two minutes, there's not enough time for a game. So number 93 is what it looks like we're gonna be sitting at. So let's just do a little bit of a pack opening to celebrate. What's the best pack for us to open though? You can go for the Philosophy. There's only one limited left in Philosophy that I don't have, but it's the limited Legendary, I think, Karl Marx. I think that's the only one in Philosophy that's limited before I complete the set. Um, Hello Summer League. Oh, we can go for Ocean Reptiles. I'm just trying to look at these different ones. The League Spotlight. 10% chance of a featured limit limited legendary. I wish they could just like, tap on these little cards and then they'd like pull up and be big. All right, I just want to catch on stream the turn of the minute. So we got the one minute left. So I think we're secure in our leaderboard spot, unless suddenly a bunch of people all win at the last second. All right. And we hit 7 a.m. That's the end of the league. 225 wins over 378 games. What's that uh, win rate? Let's, uh... Calculator. Or go. was mainly the butter chaos there was some drainflation and there was some tweaks on it throughout but that's a averaging a 60 percent or better win rate that's pretty insane and now we get our prizes from this week's league an exclusive avatar top 100 baby Got our top 100 pack. We got the Sydney Harbor Bridge. We got the Wright Brothers. Edmontosaurus. It's a fusion ingredient. If you are not losing the round, this card gains plus 45 this turn. So it'd be 100 if you're not losing. 
And it doesn't say you're winning, not losing. So that means the first turn of a round, it's always good. Buzz Aldrin. Oh, shoot. I love Buzz Aldrin. We want to get all those astronauts. And then Boars for the Boars model. Mary River Turtle. Your deck, If your deck contains algae, your Raging River cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. Wow, I'm surprised that this um, turtle counts as a green and not as a blue. But yeah, that's a pretty decent pull. Yeah, we got our limited turtle. Our li yeah, two limited epics. Uh, fusion, legendary. And some standard rares and commons that we already had. Let's play at least one game a week. Okay. So, oh, so we're starting on Excalibur. So what are the um, new league rules? I had read them earlier, but I don't recall all of them. Um... You're just going to go with our butterfly deck. Alright, we're going to get 20 a turn. It's going to be way too much energy. We're going to be energy flooded. All right, we're gonna need to find out. We're gonna need to make a better deck for this. And yeah, we can wear our uh, new badge with pride. Top one hundred. All right, thanks everyone for sticking around up to this point. Uh, please make sure to go over to the YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, and thanks. thank you everyone for sticking around and making this possible, supporting me on our way to uh, hitting that top 100. I'm sure we'll have a, plenty of uh, pack openings coming up with all of these new gems and coins that we just got a whole ton of. But just to get a little taste, what do we want to open? Um, let's do just some... Um, Let's see if we can pull anything nice from here. From the spotlight. Triathlon. Freya's nice, yeah. We got two legendaries. That's a good pack. Two legendary, two, two limited legendaries, two limb legs from that one pack. Whew, that is nice. All right, I should probably edit that uh, stream title.
Hey, HG Knight, nice to see you back. Yeah, back in the stream. So we just opened up this sick pack. Um, so we we got top 100. We changed our avatar to the top 100 avatar. So we ended up with like the 97. Yeah, two limb legs, right? There's two 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 different limited legendaries. Exactly. That I just opened this as an insane pack. This is a spotlight pack. Um, but yeah, so I got that from the spotlight pack. We got two limb legs from it. But I was just opening up some of these with all the gems we just got from the top 100 and dragon. We got, um, in the, um, top 100 pack, we got two limb legs and one, uh, not two limb legs, two limb epics and one normal legendary. Um, loaded epic. A random card in either player's hand. But yeah, right now I'm just doing some pack openings with all these gems. I want to save at least some gems for the Tuesday packs are usually pretty good. Remaining paleontology cards. So I got this, yeah. I got this in an earlier pack. I was just doing some pack openings now that we got all of it. All these new things. But yeah, Tropical Bird, your forces of nature cost minus four until played. I'd also try to do one league game um, within the new rule set. And I need to redesign and come up with a new deck because I'm just getting energy flooded and I have so much to spend and people were just abusing that. So I think people were already theory crafting decks for this week when their rules got dropped on Friday. I don't have a deck together already, so I need to look into that. But we're gonna get, we're gonna buy up some cards and then afterwards we're going to do some theory crafting probably on decks to build for this week's league. All right, do you want to play a game night? Do you want to play, do you want to, let's pretend to be Zacchaeus. Do you want to play high or lower <laughs> HGC night? I should have all caps right now. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're starting off with a uh, three energy. Volta, do you think we're going higher or lower in HGC night? <laughs> higher? Okay, higher than three. Six, you're right, higher. All right. Compare to six. Higher or lower? Higher or lower than six? Lower? All right. You hit a three with the bush cricket. That's pretty lucky. Higher or lower? Higher? That's what I thought. And we hit the ladybug just barely higher. So you got the whole pack. <laughs> All right, what's a... Uh, hmm. I was gonna say none of these cards are extremely attractive. I was gonna say if you wanted, if you wanted to, you could trade me something for the pack if you want these cards. <laughs> okay. All right. I think that um you need to look at these league rules. So this Oh wait. This league's week league rules. So we're Hmm. Let's see, we're doing Around the Reef, Awesome Aviation, Bugs, Going Underground. I'm wondering why these are starred. Arena is always oh, guaranteed to appear. Okay, so Bugs, Aviation, and Around the Reef are guaranteed to appear. And then from Fabulous Fish, Forces of Nature, and Going Underground will be rotating. Um... So let's just look what we have. I know for bugs, we have the dragonfly, which I like a lot as an energy generation. I don't think the energy generation is needed this time. So it's around the reef, bugs, 
Um, I already forgot the paleontology one. Oh, there's the aviation one I need to go back up for. Um, okay, let's look at these just to get a baseline. So for bugs, we got um, leaf insect. If we want to do something with plants. We can go with cock okay, cockroaches just gives us some more energy, which we don't need. We're already going to be pretty flooded with energy. You know, we could just make a heavy hitter deck and say, screw the themes for right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to update the, the deck. Um, number 40 peak. Uh, I can't go that long. I was going to add 49 shield. Because I think... I, I'm thinking now... Um, shield is a better measure. How many shields the deck got in that league as opposed to the number placement. And then, yeah, we did the math afterwards, because after you're done with the league, it tells you how many wins and how many games you played. We had like a 59 point something really high um, percent win rate. So that our butter that was mainly with the Butter Chaos deck with different iterations throughout. We were updating the deck and making it better, but we had pretty much a 60% win rate with this deck. That's pretty insane. Well, between this and the Drainflation, between these two decks together, mostly the Butter, most of it was the Butter Chaos deck. Yeah, this Butter Chaos deck, and then some from this Drainflation deck, which has had a, also a couple of improvements throughout it. Like, I got a Ghost recently. There's a really... So this was one of the good things from the Q Discord. There's a, like, this big whale guy that has, like, almost almost every single card. And he was like, hey, um, any newbies looking for a Ghost? And he had, like, nine copies of Ghost, and he gave me one, which was super great. And that pretty much made this deck, because before, I was running the Big Bang just for energy generation. No other synergies. A 7 cost 17, get 1 energy permanently. Replaced with a 3 cost 26, get 1 permanently. With a conditional, if you lose, you get a second one permanently. Like, that was, that made a huge difference. Yeah, you're opening a ton of packs too? Yeah, I got you, man. It seems to be like a nice time to pack open. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the June recap. I don't know if it's worth it. Four random cards, one guaranteed limited or higher. I, for 100 gems, I don't think that's really worth it. I've been getting a whole bunch of gems from referrals because I've been bringing a lot of people to the game lately um, through a mixture of uh, YouTube shorts, TikToks, and also just reaching out to people that I know. And then I've been trying to do the stream. I've been trying to just really grow this game because I really, I see this game as like having huge potential going into the future. I'm actually super excited for Q. I think by, by Halloween, this game is going to be blowing up. Halloween at, at the latest, when you get all the, when you get the ghost reprints, right? When the ghost, when ghost comes back out and it's noob friendly to get ghosts early on, that, that's when this game's going to pop off. <laughs> All right, let's, um, you know what? We're going to do um, five cards from arts, including a chance for a limited. You know we have to go for the chance for the art deco. That's all we really want. Art deco, where are you? I don't even know if it's possible to get you from here. If it's the first turn of a round, your Robin Hood card, wherever it is, gets plus 73 until played. So 73 just makes it a nice 100. Sometimes I try to understand why the numbers are the way they are. Sometimes it's just, oh, it makes a clean, it makes a clean 100, it makes a clean 42 or so, something like that. But um, is, whenever you see odd numbers, there's usually something to it.
Alios. If your deck contains Bag of Wind, ri you're riding the waves and plundering pirates, get additional. La Befano. I want to know what's the history for this. Did you know La Bafana is a witch from Italian folklore who visits children and fills their socks with sweets and gifts if they've been good or coal if they've been bad? So far, she's just Santa on a broomstick, but her legend begins in a dark place. Wait. It's said that La Bafana was, was an ordinary woman who lost her child and was driven mad with grief. Then she heard of the birth of Jesus and traveled to find him under the delusion that she was her son, returned. She presented Jesus with gifts and delighted the baby so much that he made her the mother of every child in Italy. There is also a bit in her legend that says that if she is seen while she's delivering gifts, she'll deliver a thump on the head of, with her broomstick. You have been warned. So Santa, but she'll beat you if you try to see her doing stuff and is a little deranged, thinks Jesus is her son coming back. Good old Plotinus. Plotinus was an OG member. Let me know when you want a game. Yeah, if you want a game, yeah, I'd be down a game. Um, if you want to do casual, I could do casual off rip. If you want to do a, um, like a league, like a league rules, I'd want a minute to like, uh, to make a deck. But yeah, I'd be down a game. Let's see, we're gonna... Hit him with the Godzilla. You know what? What if I just put all my most expensive cards in? Or all the ones that seem decent? Um, your cards in hand gain plus 10 this turn when you draw it. That just buffs up all the science cards big. Touch this card gain plus twenty. This round in your touch card, wherever it is, is minus five. Do I even have touch? I think uh, no. I for sure have touch. I don't think I have hearing though. All cards in both players' hands. I think we're going a little bit science heavy, and I think we can lean into that. I can go for some structures too. Go for Eiffel Tower. Trade Center. Fort Knox. Gold. Average energy is seven, which I think seven's a good average actually for this. Um, or a little under seven, I guess, would be good. Because if it's 21 per turn, it's really just your first turn that you could get, like, energy screwed.
And then we want some cheaper cards to go into. Oh, where's that, um, geez, where's that? There's some oceans card that I want. Where is it? Yellow box fish. All right, cool. If you want a game, I am down to game. I just threw together what is most likely one of the worst decks I've made. I'm going to call it a Big Chungus Fungus. All right. Can I read? Can I read out the deck, please? Sure. This is just a. I'm just gonna do a versus um, HGC night here, and so this deck, um, it's just to play with the new league rules, and so it's kind of, right now the new league rules is that you start with twelve energy and you gain twenty per round, so you're getting a ton of energy. So I'm like, oh, I can take advantage of that and just have a very high energy cost, um, so. Um, I have the one world trade center, uh, which is three costs 20. Um, when you play it, if you're losing the round, you get plus 20 on all your cards that you play. Um, we got gold that if it matches the arena, it gains plus 50. So there's the awesome aviation arena in there. So it'll get plus 50 if you play it there. I'm also going to get this discounted from Fort Knox later on. I've got sight, which pairs with touch, which, um... This gets stronger and touch gets cheaper when I draw it. Um, I got Godzilla as just a big hitter. Raphael. I got a little. I got a couple of burns. The thought being, if they've got some big cards, then you're over this game. What is it? Um, yeah, make those lovers decks. Oh yeah, lovers insane in this. Yeah, lover would be insane. Shoot, you know what? I'm going to just go, um, don't mind me over here while I just go to the trading post and say, um, hey, anyone got those lovers? You remember those tarot cards that, that, uh, I didn't want to buy the packs for? Uh, anyone got that one? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back to the big Chungus deck, but actually, um, we're going to go back to the big Chungus deck and just do a run through of the big Chungus deck. And then, um... Knight, you can feel free to send me a challenge. But we got some burn through Raphael and Balor Bondic. We've got Eiffel Tower to go with a couple of superstructures. I don't have a ton of awesome aviations, so I just put a couple of science cards to go with that arena. We got GPS. Uh, this is very good for the start of round. Um, Polar Bear is good for if you're already ahead and, ahead and winning. So with some big cards like Godzilla and with um, specifically Cheese Rolling. Those, when you're already winning cards are really, really good. Um, we got the yellow box fish. So all cards at the base power of less than 70, wherever they are, uh, get minus five until played. So if we look at this deck, we have... Um, actually, wait, is it, does it include 70? Um, is 70 the line or is 70... With a base power of less than 70. So gold is safe, sight is safe, Godzilla is safe. Balor Bondek is safe. Polar Bear is safe. All right, let's count how many get hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine of the cards, so half the deck is hit by that. I don't know if that's a good thing. That might be... I'm. I was thinking this deck was going to be higher hitters than that, but it's base power of 70. All right. We're going to go for... Um... Oh, wait. HGC Knight. Uh, are you Knight Wrath? And then NJ... NJP87... Uh, how did, how did you fare this league? And also, where are you joining this? Where, where are you joining in from? Uh, I know I've gotten some viewers that are, um, I, I'm from the, I'm US based. I know I've got some people across the pond, uh, in the UK and Germany I've had before. And I've had a handful of US people coming in from New York, from Michigan. Um, I'm in Pennsylvania in the US, but yeah. UK, but you're at work. Okay, you're at work at the moment. Okay, so if you just want to be joined in uh, Lorcan, I'm guessing, for a bit. Well, it looks like Knight may have stepped away for a bit. So I'm going to just take a, take a shot at the ladder. It's just this big Chungus deck. I don't expect it to be particularly good, but it might win a, it might win a couple of games. And I think later on during this week, we're going to have to do like an actual um, uh, deck design. Um, okay, so the problem with this, I'm already seeing, I can only play like one card the first turn. After the first turn, I'll be okay. But I can only play one card the first turn. And now, and now we can just kind of go through the deck. All right, so now we are going to be able to just blast on through. Yeah, so earlier we were trying um, a brand new setup. Pretty much every... Um, I'm pretty new to the streaming game, and pretty much every stream I'm trying to improve the stream a little bit. So um, in one way or another. So um, it can be one. It could be like updating the about page, adding in extensions and stuff. It could be the Discord that I just added. It's not fully... Um, I don't have everything up to snuff where I'd like it to be at for the Discord, um, but I have the basics of it uh, in the About page. And so I've got like the basics for the Discord set up. Um, and, um, and so then the beginning of this stream, I was initially streaming rather than for my phone, which I'm currently doing right now. I was initially stream casting it to my computer, which made it a lot easier for me to also have the webcam, the phone. I could have fun backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, but the, f eventually the frame started dropping. And so then it was got to a point where the stream wasn't really going through too well. So, so then I went from, um, second. So, and the stream wasn't continuing so well. So then I had to switch on back over to phone, which is how I've been streaming up until this point. Um, I was trying to see if I got drawn to Fort Knox. Okay, we are losing, which is a good thing for the World Trade Center. Oh, dang, three or four. Oh, and he's got an Art Deco. Okay. Art Deco is uh, not nice. If you have Art Deco, you could be super greedy in this one because it's already a strong card that scales up. But yeah, I got you at work in the UK. I'm... Um, I'm U.S. based, so right now for me, this is 7.30 a.m., so I wouldn't be working normally um, at this point in time. But even just um, this week, I'm, I'm taking this week off of work. So, 
Yeah. Um, as far as fun things with the stream, I've been trying to organize some events with the Q community. So I've actually been trying to organize a Q streamer tournament. That's probably not going to be for some time, but I've been getting it together and I've been getting, um, gathering people interested. So I reached out to, um, some of the bigger Q streamers and got some, uh, yeah, and been just getting, um, getting responses, gauging interest. So I talked a little bit with Zakis. He said he may be interested. Uh, or he said, yeah, he said it's something he'd definitely be interested in knowing more about for when uh, when it gets together. So Zakis sounded like he'd be on board if uh, we actually get it all up and going. We talked to um, we talked to Evie Lucy IGN a little bit, whispering uh, actually just at the very beginning of this uh, stream, and then. Who else did we reach out to? Uh, I want to reach out to some to some people on YouTube, but if you know any um, any Q content creators um, that I might want to consider giving it like inviting to, uh, 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 that I might want to consider inviting to participate in a tournament, please let me know if you know anyone else that uh, streams Q and has like a good quality stream. All right. This touch is real cheap. Oh, it's free. The best price. Yeah, I think I'm just straight losing. But we're learning a little bit on how to build these decks. And what's the average power? 400 something? A thousand, okay. Eight hundred to a thousand, six to seven hundred. So it seems like on the low end, it's gonna be like six hundred per round, excluding the first round. Low end is six hundred. Um. So let's mess around with this big chungus a bit. You know, you can um you could even completely scrap it to be honest, but awesome aviation. I'm just trying to see what what we're working with. Spruce goose. Honestly, Spruce Goose is actually probably pretty good. These cards that um start off cheap and get expensive um, are probably fine to throw in. I'm just thinking for turn one, it gives you flexibility. And then you can get you can just be ahead from the first turn. Okay. Wait one second. Yeah, stop editing. I think we're gonna scrap this big chungus deck. We're gonna start. We're gonna start off by going with aviation. Awesome aviation. Wright Brothers is good. Boeing, your awesome aviation cards gain plus ten this turn. The Boeing kind of seems like it sucks. It's fifth. It's a seven cost fifty seven. Even if it hits all of them, it's a seven cost seventy seven. There's no way that's good. Spruce Goose can be good for flexibility specifically on turn one. I don't know if we want to take it in just because it specifically could be good on turn one. We should take like a Hurricane and, Son and uh, Sonic Boom. Your cards in hand gain plus five if you're not losing the round. Your cards in hand gain an extra plus... Oh, and if you're not losing the round, they get an extra plus seven. That seems good. So I think that's our aerial aviation base. There's around the reef, which I do not have a single card. Um, let me look back up. Uh, cue cards, summer. I'm trying to just look up our uh, cards, universe, 
and everything. I don't, yeah, so I'm trying to look for the Hello Summer, um, rule set, the lead rule set. Um, let's see, we've got Bugs from Life on Land. In Bugs, what's well, actually good? The Dragonfly is good. Um, if you are winning the round, this card loses 10 this turn. Otherwise, it gains 20. Eh. A random card in your hand gains 30 this turn. That's good. Your Cockroach, your cockroach in hand gains plus 40. Uh, that's too cheap. If you have played this card before, it gains plus 20 permanently. I think we can probably cycle this deck pretty fast if we want to build it as a cycling deck. There's some Major and Minor, Jade Emperor and Jade cards. Not too many bugs I'd actually want to include. You know, I'll just add in a bunch of Arts cards that doesn't matter because we have to... Com or, yeah, auto-complete. Um... Test. What are the rules again? That's all I'm trying to see. I remember some of the rules. Um, aviation bugs around the reef. Fabulous fish. Forces of nature going underground. Okay, so we got good forces of nature synergy, and fab. And then yeah, we want to look at. Um, fabulous fish. Here's, let's go to F. Fabulous fish, forces of nature, going underground. Um, what do we want from here? Anything good in here? Let us see. There's the Killifish. If you are losing the round, all remaining cards in both players' hand lose 15. All right. There's the Short-Nosed Unicorn Fish. Your mythical creatures gain plus 20. That's not going to be so helpful. Give your cards with Hog in the name. Yeah, whatever. Um, if you are losing the round, all remaining cards in both players' hand lose 15 next turn. That's not that great, but it could be an all right card. I think Forces of Nature is the one we're going to be going for, probably, if anything. Cost two less. If you're losing, get plus 20. Any just like good stat lines? No? Dang. Dust Storm. Your opponent loses three this round. Yeah, none of these Forces of Nature seem too good for the ones that I have. Mudslide is okay. Downburst would be good if they were a good force of nature. Well, let's say let's let's look at them. Let's say downburst, they're all two less. Um two cost thirty-two is good. Six cost seventy-four. Four cost fifty-two. We don't need to play too much towards the value end, but we huh. All right. Get rid of these autofills. We can keep the ghost. Uh, we don't really need the energy actually in this one. Okay, these are the ones that we actually added into the deck. I wish that it, you could actually affect the order that they were in. All right. Honestly, I am feeling a little bit wiped. But we got the um, top 100 this time. I might be calling it a stream fairly soon. Oh, 
Hey, what's up, Mr. Math? Yeah, I actually reached out to Mr. Math 314. Yeah, I reached out to him as a streamer that might be interested in it. Um, his, yeah, he had responded saying that um, more or less, de de depending on who's involved in, in the event, that he, may be, that he may or may not be interested. But yeah, um, pretty much I'd gone and I looked at the Sully, Sully Gnome Twitch analytics for people that stream Q to try to see who popped up. And so I reached out to the people that I streamed Q. I, I don't remember the time period I did. If I did it in the past month or the past 90 days, I was looking at it. Um, but yeah, I looked for past month or past, past 90 days for people that have streamed uh, Q. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of calling this pretty soon. Um, just because I'm thinking of taking a nap before... Uh, getting on with the rest of my day just because I uh, I have been up pretty early just getting ready for this just for the last little push so thank you very much if you like what you're seeing here uh, feel free to leave a follow and yeah, yeah I just want to say lots of appreciation for the follow uh, is that NJ or RJ or uh, N NJP87 appreciate the follow and I appreciate uh, sticking around to the end of the chat. Uh, if you want some more content, I'm also putting out on YouTube. The link is in the about. And yeah, l link in the bio. And you can just, uh, if you subscribe to the YouTube, you'll be able to see the videos as they come out. And you don't have to miss content. I'm planning on also doing some, um, uh, as of right now, it's mostly uh, edited down VOD content to get rid of a lot of like dead space. Um, in the future, I'm planning on also adding in um, separate, just recorded videos that aren't necessarily from stream. Um, things going in depth, in depth dives into deck building, possibly tier lists on um, best cards from different ranks, um, and then doing analysis on um, the different decks that I run into. So, for example, I I have a lot of stats for the different decks that I went to at the top of uh, the ladder this week. And so then I want to dive into, okay, um, what kinds of decks are showing up in, it, in in this survival kind of environment where you start off with high energy but have low energy per turn. And like so getting trying to get the idea of in this kind of environment, these are the kind of decks that have thrived in the past. So if you're if any of that content sounds like things that might be interesting to you, Please go to the YouTube, leave a sub. But yeah, appreciate having you around. And yeah, till next time. In, till, till next time, enjoy, live life, be happy, wear a smile on your face. All right. Shoot. I swear I know how to end the stream manager. I messed this up last time too. Um, stream manager. Jeez. All right. See, I have the problem when I close, um, Twitch chat on my phone that I don't know how to actually get back to the 